Welcome back, beautiful soul. This is Encoding Shamanic Peacemaker. And uh, in this video, we're going to move on with part number two in the reading called Is He My Soulmate? Tell all. Because we want to know all, right? <laughs> About this uh, and the journey that you're having together now. And what will happen in the future. So um, let's get moving with uh, pile number three and then pile number four for the divine masculines especially if you want to know some things about your divine masculine or if you are a divine masculine. So um, moving on to pile number three. All right so let's move on to pile number three and this beautiful crystal here so i'll put it in the top and uh, to begin with we're going to have just one card from the native heart um, healing oracle and uh, these cards are so beautiful this card will show me uh, a little bit about your energy right this moment or right now so um wheel of creation okay so um it's card number one <laughs> and um it brings me to the magician in traditional tarot um i'm hearing that uh you're sort of ready now. You're ready for that new beginning to take place. You are ready for the transformation in your life here. And um and you have been um you have been collecting a lot of your tools to get moving here, uh planning strategic uh, strategies, um, thoughts, um, contemplating uh, everything, you have done everything, you've let yourself heal, you let yourself experience things and uh, now um, according to this card you actually are ready, you're ready. <laughs> And um, I wonder what uh, the rest of the cards will say about um, how much action you're willing to take right now. But you are very ready inside um, to take that jump and to make this wheel of creation turn into the next step, the next cycle here. So that's what I am hearing about you right now. So happy that we have the middle card here that explains a little bit more about you. Because in this spread I'm using um, a variant to the Celtic cross. So here, here you are in the middle and the situation right now. All right. And let's see temperance yeah hmm <laughs> so you are you you are really uh considering all of your options right here spirits say you are planning your um thinking about how you can do something, what you will do, and um, but I, f I feel like your soul is telling you to go, all right? So with this card, Temperance here, and um, <laughs> let's see what the Oracle card clarifies this to be, field of dreams it says right yeah so um <laughs> yeah there you can see yourself 
planting your garden, taking care of your garden. Actually, you're taking care of your eggs. <laughs> Uh, that means all of your dreams, your plans, and uh, you're grooming them. You're sort of helping them come to, to fruition, helping them grow, helping them slowly and carefully to open up. So here are all your dreams, all your plans for your life right now, for your new beginning, uh, like a mother does to a... Uh, a child, a hen does to her chickens, her eggs, <laughs> and um, carefully um, making sure that everything is done right and everything, everybody is being taken into consideration according to the next step that you're planning here. All right, uh, gently, compassionately, uh, taking care of your field here, your plans, which is, is now still a dream in this card here. It's still something internal for you, all right? Uh, okay, and... Um, Card number two is the positive addition to this temperance and feel of dreams over here. So let's try and see what are the positive additions to these cards. All right. Three of wands. All right. So you are... Uh, I'm, I'm hearing you took the first little step here. You took the first step out of the gate, out of the fear, and, um, and really tried to um, have this new beginning. In, in, in some sense, I want to clarify. Um, yeah, uh, Oregon's lair here. Okay, so the energy with you, since I started this, I've been feeling a little scared, like a little anxious, um, and it's, and it's um, growing right here. So uh, I'm going to tell you here, it's a new beginning, but the Oregon's Lair, you know that your journey from here on will be unexpected you it will be hard it will be tough for you and um um you know there will be darkness you don't know you don't know what it's like what will happen you don't know <laughs> uh what ghost will jump in front of you here you don't know so it's a little scary but you're like i'm a fighter i'm going to I'm sending out my dreams and I'm going I'm going to bring them back. They're coming back. They're going to come back. All right? So, um but you know you have to enter this nasty house up here. All right? And that's a scary thing. <sighs> Sorry, I'm I'm going to almost cry. I'm out of fear. Um uh, <sighs> Anyway, uh it's tough, you know? really really grabbing that transformation right in in your bare hands here you really are okay and the fear is sort of making me cry a little bit <laughs> like a little child i'm scared i don't want to do it daddy or mommy i don't want to do it uh, next card here positive addition but you can do it you can do it and um, and inside of you, 
you have that knowledge, all right? You have that knowledge that you're going to win this fight, whatever it is, because this is seven of wands. You're going you're gonna to grab all those sticks uh, for your own purpose. So um, you're going to win this fight, all right? Clarifying, yeah, sacred pool we have here. Um, so I'm getting, uh, are you looking into a mirror here? Do you like what it, what you see? Do you like what you see? And that is the, um, that is what this is all about for you. Because you didn't really like what you saw in that mirror here. Um, so you're grabbing on to the positive here. You're grabbing on to the fact that you were able to see yourself clearly. That you were able to make a decision. That you were able to... Um, Let yourself be healed by this sacred pond here. And coming out on the other side. <clears throat> All right, so negative additions to this uh, card that is you here, temperance card. So uh, negative additions. Can we take any more negativity or just, wow, um, Oh my God. Um, so it's been hard. It's been tough for you, this ride here. Um, you have... You, psychologically, it's been really, really tough on you. And, uh, and sometimes you think, you're thinking, did I do the right thing? Did I make the right choice here? Um, and, uh, and I'm hearing you, you're sad about the people involved here. You, you're thinking about whomever is involved in your situation and how you hurt them. If you hurt them, are they going to be all right? I'm going to cry again. <laughs> My God. <clears throat> so, um. The Empress, dearest, you have that. I see that you are actually uh, past the new beginning. This is a very, very, very new, very sensitive new beginning. The first very little step, you're right in there right now. And the reason why you were able to cross that bridge, uh, walk in through that portal, is that you recognize that beautiful empress inside of yourself here. Um, because of whatever happened that has, by lessons and learnings, um, made you come stronger become stronger know yourself better become more grounded more grounded with earth grounded with spirit here and um so i'm and, and i'm also seeing that you are able to take care of everybody else here don't cry for everybody because you were there you you did this with your heart first, okay? I'm, I'm sorry I get so sad about this, but you really did this with your heart first. You did, okay? You didn't do anything wrong. That's what I have to say. tell you because you've been sad. Uh, death, oh my God. Yes, this is what happened. You had to say goodbye completely. Make a huge change here in your life. All right. 
um, and uh, and leaving somebody behind, leaving somebody behind. And I feel like you don't want, you didn't want to leave. You didn't want to leave, but you, but you had to. Yes, you had to because <sighs> justice had to be served here. In some way, perhaps you weren't treated right. Um, there was. Anyway, there was an imbalance in this re relationship or whatever you left behind here. And um, and you know, justice can feel negative while it's uh, happening uh, uh, during, okay? But, um, and it can be hard to find justice. It can be ha hard to figure out what to do, how to share, how to plan from now on, um, what to feel from now on, and uh, how to act from now on. And, uh, and that is a, a tough one to go through, all right? That's what spirits say. Um, let's see the oracle for these two cards here. Strength. All right. So, uh, yeah, and the Empress come, comes back here. So in between these really bad tarot cards here, you have actually gained strength. You have gained power, in internal power, uh, and uh, recognized yourself, respected yourself, taken responsibility for yourself here. And the next card into the unknown yeah you know uh and into the unknown is clarifying these these um more negative uh cards uh death and justice and um this knight of swords over here because you know you have been blindfoldedly uh doing this taking this first step you didn't know what would happen here. So, um, and yeah, that's uncomfortable, really uncomfortable. But you have the strength to do it. And that's why you dared to do it. You did dare to do that. You're courageous, very courageous. You're really, really, I'm, I'm just, I think you're so good. You're so good because you've been thinking about everybody else here. And uh, you grabbed a hold of yourself and said, I will do it anyway. I will do it whatever it takes. I will take care of myself and the greater good here. And I'm so much stronger now because of it. All right. And um, I just have to look closer at the card just a minute. Yeah. So I'm I'm seeing here that you are um, in in such a great connection with Mother Earth here, and um, here you're taking this first step out into the unknown, and um, but you're holding the Earth and life in your hand. You are secure in yourself self-secure and uh, confident i mean in yourself here so um that's good that's so good all right so we'll go straight into the basis of you here um the root of you and uh, what's holding you all right uh nine of cups uh <laughs> you are uh sort of um keeping whatever relationship or l with about love uh at a distance here you are um, you're saying um whatever happened that made you do all of these things make this transformation 
uh, you are holding it in hands length or arms length. Do you say that? Yeah. So um, uh, protecting yourself in this card here. And um, because you know better and you're cleaning house. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> and that is what all endings are about. Uh, you have to clean house. You have to get rid of everything that's not longer serving you. All right. So that's what you're doing here. And you're still taking a few steps here. Uh, and I, I see good luck is coming your way. There is a cat and I, I see that as a good luck. Um, so, um, and it's a three plus seven is a 10. That's also a new beginning here. And the last card is the fool. <laughs> there we go. Spirit, thank you so much for guiding me to... Uh, come closer to the next card we haven't even seen it yet all right new beginning the fool is i'm i'm stepping out i'm stepping out into the unknown i don't know where i'm going but i'm confident i'm i know that i'm going and uh, i will do that and i am doing that so um this is uh the root of you right now so and uh let's see the crown uh um and that is um uh, opportunities here in trend and um, so an opportunity of uh, uh, imaginations uh, perhaps um, illuminated imaginations not clear but a sense of wanting love in a, such a beautiful, sensual way that you can't uh, only dream about it. <laughs> it's, um, did I say, seven of cups here. So uh, this is what you want and this is what you are wishing for as an opportunity for you in your life. You want a new love, I'm hearing spirits say here. Um a beautiful love, uh, someone that will love you, that will respect you, all of you, and um, that you can have passionate relationship with here. Um, moonlight. All right. So, <laughs> yeah, we're still having to um, dream about it and uh, offer it to the moon and ask for it to come back to us here all right so um so i'm 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 hearing it's still like a dream it's a dream it's not something ma material uh, existing right now perhaps but um uh, the compass this is so uh, where you are actually pointing your compass, spirits say. All right. So, um, so, and, and it's a new thing for you to, uh, not know exactly what's going to happen, but you know where you're going here and you know that you have to set your compass here. And, um, so that's what you're doing right now. Uh, all right, <clears throat> oh, the energy is lifting, <laughs> the mm, sad energy is lifting a little bit here. But let's see, now we're going into your past over here, so <laughs> don't don't uh, speak before <laughs> you know. <laughs> so your past, my dear, all right? <laughs> yeah. All right, <clears throat> we'll do it once again here tower you you had this tower moment and uh you know a tower moment is when you what everything you built up you created everything you called uh your 
world, your life, your passion, your whatever it was, is just instantly being uh, uh, dragged down. Uh, and uh, and it can feel like a shock, uh, like um, it's just my whole world just crashed there. My whole life just crashed right there. Sorry, I'm going to cry again a little bit. Um, come on, um, I want to clarify. Okay, Spirit wanted me to clarify all the time in this deck here. Uh, yeah, sad embrace, that's what I'm feeling right now. And that's always what you feel after your tower just falls down like that. Um, not purposely done by you or perhaps anyone else, perhaps... It's like a, a godsend moment sometimes. So we can actually move out of our frequency because we are meant to step up there. All right. And um, next card is three of cups. And, and was that godsend? someone else coming in to your life into okay into your existing relationship spirits say where you have felt like this is my life this is where i feel safe and comfort uh, is all around me and um and then something happened a third party joined your life here and I'm going to have to say it's, it's not about partying. Perhaps it happened during a party. I don't know. But a third party came in here and, uh, and created that tower moment. Uh, okay. And ride the wave. Because I was asking spirit... Who did this third party enter the life of your the person you were with or your life? Was it you where this person entered? And this clarifying card, right the way with these two beautiful dolphins here and uh, 14 that makes five with a change. I'm, I'm seeing and hearing that it someone came into your life here. And changed, changed your um, perception completely, um, making you think, what should I do about this? I feel tempted here. I feel like I want to go with that person out and play. I want to play and ride this wave. I just, I haven't felt this love, this useful sensation within for such a long time and I'm feeling drawn to that I feel excited about it um, not I don't know if if it's love that you're feeling drawn by but it's just the excitement of feeling alive once again here and um, yeah <laughs> Uh, here we have this incoming message that, that you that you got. Uh, I'm not sure if this person that came into your life is the page of ones, but whomever this was, they sung such a passionate message into your heart, into your ears, into your sacred chakra. It's just Wow, I'm just feeling alive just by hearing that, by hearing those words, that energy coming into me. Um, I'm just uh, overwhelmed. <laughs> Magic prayer here. <laughs> so yeah, deep inside, you have been praying for this for such a long time. So even though this, whatever happened, might have felt like a tower moment, 
it was still a dream come true. It was still something you had been longing for, for so long here, okay? You've been singing to God about it. You've been praying about it, um, asking for this. But you, you never saw this coming. You've been asking for it in the wrong place. You've been asking for it right where you were. But where you were was not able to provide this inside of you. That's what I'm hearing. So, and uh, the Wheel of Fortune here. Yeah. So having that message in that beautiful way sort of um, brought you to this next step here. This next turn in your life. And um, so that was the catalyst for you over here. Follow the leader. And um, uh, who, that leader is you, okay? So there is, there is no um, doubt about that. This had, has made you know that you can be responsible for your life. You can love yourself because you know that someone else can love you in this magical way and you have the you have the um support of your guides of spirit so and you know that now because you understand that this catalyst was given to you perhaps you know it was by god or you know it was by your prayers you know it was by your higher self uh, however you might want to uh, say about that, but you feel stronger inside because you actually saw how you were able to attract something that you had been praying for for so long. And your prayer is now here coming to life. All right, coming to life. Step by step, step by step, step by step. Divine timing is included here. But you're doing it, okay? Okay, I'm going to hear now about your near future. Near future. Wow, more love. Ace of Cups here. So, um, and this is... Uh, this is about the love you've gained for yourself because of the knowledge you've gained about uh, how beautiful you are, how attractive you are, how, uh, um, I'm looking for the word, valuable you are. And, uh, and, and yes, you're being offered this beautiful cup of love. It's beautiful emotions just flowing into you of beautiful love here. And let's clarify. <laughs> the storm feels... <laughs> yeah. So when you're giving this beautiful cup of love, it can feel like, you know, stormy fields, like a uh, um, hurricane. It's like, Whoa, what? What is going on? I, 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 I don't know uh, if, if I'm going to blow away or if I'm, what am I gonna do here? Um, and spirits say, uh, uh, look for the center. Go to the center. Go to the center. <laughs> okay. So I'm hearing this is how you reacted to this cup of love, um, and. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if this is a new person. Um, I think it might be a new person. It's in the near future. So uh, be aware. It can feel like a storm. All right. Coming in. 
I want to know. All right, so uh, instantly you're going to protect yourself. You're going to be like, um, I'm, I'm not ready. I'm not ready for this. It's uh, And my emotions are just too many. I can't deal with them all at once here. Um, I'm just going to not pay attention to this um, gift that just came in here. Um, I'm just going to take a, a break for a little while. Um, and uh, <laughs> because you're feeling stuck in the mud, you're, you're sort of doing that to protect yourself. You're like, I'm, I'm going to need to have both my feet deeply uh, uh, grounded into earth here to make sure that I don't make any too hasty uh, um, experiences. And um, and also, you might be still stuck in the mud of the past, whatever uh, you have to say goodbye to. And that makes you sort of ignore um, whatever new um, tempt tempting offers that are coming in. <laughs> and who is giving you that offer? This is the Knight of Cups. So, uh, so yeah, this could be a new guy, a new person in your life, if you are divine feminine. But I want to say divine masculine about this guy here. So, um, and yeah, he's bringing you, he's just bringing you a very determined offer here of love and, um, and he is extremely um, confident about what he feels about you here in this energy. Let's see what these cards say. Gentle gardener. All right. So, so we have this garden now twice, right? And... Uh, <laughs> and... So I'm hearing he is actually part of the dreams you have sent out. He is actually part of the dreams you have sent out. But he understands that you may not be ready uh, and that you still have to uh, <laughs> sit on your eggs, lady hen, uh, before you are ready to have them crack open completely and have them running around those little chickens <laughs> you're not ready for that okay so he he will respect that and but he will understand your dreams he will understand who you are here and um that's really beautiful and he will take care of your garden together with you all right Wow, that's so nice. Near future, all right. Whew. It's like a rolling um, a roller coaster, riding a roller coaster. Sorry, today this <laughs> this little deck here. Ah, then let's get moving. I'm gonna show you. Um, um, just a minute. Your inner strength and. Your subconscious over here. Wait a minute. I'm going to try if I can sit down. <laughs> and let me see. The first card here is High Priestess. All right. So this is your inner strength. Can you see? I have to stand up to make sure you can see the cards correctly. All right, so I'm showing you the High Priestess here, and this is so, this is so who you are. This is so who, who you are. You have such a 
good connection to your own spirit and to the universe here. And, um, and your own intuition here, spirits say. I'm going to have to stand up again because, I don't know, I speak better standing. I don't know why. <laughs> All right, so... Um, So this is what is driving you. This is what is uh, keep keeping you going, the knowledge of who you really are inside, okay? Spiritual being, a queen of cups, you guys. So yeah, uh, and you had the empress just before, you know? Wow, you're a beautiful, beautiful soul. You're such a beautiful soul and you think of everybody and you love everybody. You provide love for everybody, even though you're leaving someone or um, whomever have hurt you, you still have the... Um, uh, what's cool? Uh, Danish word I can't find the English word you still have the strength the power to um, understand them you can understand them backwards forwards downwards upwards uh, all the way around and uh, because you see deeply into everybody and you're compassionate you're, you're such a compassionate soul uh, and always taking care of everybody else. But here I'm, I'm seeing that you actually are beginning to be able to take care of yourself just as well. All right. The clarifying this card is slow and steady. Yeah. So you're giving yourself time to listen listen to your intuition and waiting for the inspiration coming in here so that everybody involved including yourself is uh, made to be ready for the next little step and then again the next little step and the next little step all right beautiful you're beautiful 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 person here so I can understand if you are uh, <laughs> um, everybody's attracted <laughs> to you. <laughs> yeah, I know you can't see the cards very well here, so I'm going to do this now. Okay, and um, so we're going to the this next card card here is hopes and fears. Your hopes and fears. Okie dokie. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So, going out there on your own, <laughs> only with your little stick and your backpack, it's um, pretty scary. Um, it's pretty scary. So, your biggest fears are to uh, be left outside. Be alone, um, being held outside, uh, some, someone not saying, telling you the truth, not someone keeping their thoughts from themselves towards you, um, not having the same experiences as before, those experiences that you used to love, but being kept out of them because of this choice you made here. And you're afraid, you're afraid about that. Yeah, and we have here the Six of Swords, okay? Uh, this was Eight of Swords, did I say? But, and uh, I'm hearing that you're moving, you're going, and that it freaking scares you. It freaking scares you to leave. And uh, you don't know which passages that you're going to have to go through. If the road is going to be foggy and dark or if it's going to be light and fuzzy. You don't know anything. 
And I think you know that it's going to be both for a while. And that scares the heck out of you. That's what spirits say. And um, of course it does. Treading new um, paths is scary. Come together. So, and this is your hope here. We have the fears and the hopes here. And yeah, you, you're hoping hmm, that whatever you manifested and ate up here will come to fruition. And, and perhaps that you're going to have a little help along the way, all right? So that you won't be alone. You, you don't want to be alone. You want to know if you're going to have someone by your side here. Okay? And it scares the heck out of you that you don't know. Okay? <sighs> or that you're unsure. And also you're hoping that whatever you have to bring with you from your past, it will be easy for you. It could be children, for example, uh, or whatever things you have to set straight, um, that it will be um, done with um, uh, a peaceful communication and um, collaboration here. So, um, so there are t different things here, okay? <sighs> eight, eight, nine, ten. Mm, number ten is the environment and external influences. Your role seen by them. All right, so um, I'm reading <laughs> because it's the first time I'm using this spread, sorry, but whew. all right, so people, how they look at you and whatever happened here, the three of swords is heartbreak, somebody's heart was broken, uh, everybody's heart was broken, I don't know, but um, I'm starting to cry again because um, that's what people see. Perhaps they... Mm. think it's your fault I'm, I don't know um, so uh, and they say <laughs> protecting treasure here uh, perhaps people think that you should take a step back and uh, look at what you have or had and um Try to take care of your, the life you had, your family, your relationship, whatever it was. Um, step back and protect this. Or they see that you are protecting this. And perhaps you don't want anybody to get involved. You don't want to hear what people have to say about this. Because they, they, you don't want them to mingle into this. It's not about them and they have not walked in your shoes okay so perhaps that's what you're called to do here and um, the sun all right so someone is actually supporting you here someone is actually supporting you and and actually they are hoping that you guys or you will feel better be be happier because of this in the end. So, um, and sometimes, you know, there are two different groups of people. One group is against this situation, but the other group is like, it's going to be really good for you. Um, we have your back. We hope in so many ways that you will see the sunshine and happiness come into your life once again here. Okay, and um, I'm, I'm hearing their sadness for you as well. Encouragement. So, so they are, some of them are encouraging you here. 
helping you. Uh, it can be a friend, it can be a family member, it can be someone who's supporting you here and saying, whatever you want, I'm going to be there for you. All right. So, and uh, listening. Mm. Yeah, someone will be listening. You will have someone who can, who will listen to you if you speak with them. So um, that's really lucky for you, right? So I'm, I'm seeing a lot of support your way. Um, and to whomever is involved here, uh, people will actually step in and help here metamorphosis because some of them can actually see that you are metamorphosizing <laughs> you are stepping out of something that was not good for you here something where you were laying still in a in a like a in a pub and not moving that your soul was not present here but now they are actually encouraging you to fly, to be that butterfly, okay? So that's really good that you have someone who loves you and takes care of you. Or you should just know that, you know, if, if, if you don't <laughs> uh, let people help you, spirits say. Let your friends, your family, people help you here. And um, so, continuing up here, we are uh, going on to, sorry, I had to just <laughs> make the camera right, uh, to uh, the further future. So here we are in the further future, but we're coming into what's going to happen later on, all right? So the first pile, little pile here is, wow, eight of one. Something's going to happen fast here. It Perhaps it's going to surprise you and it's going to happen faster than you thought it would. Um, and I think it has to do with this Knight of Cups down here. Uh, it could have something to do with that. Let's see. And Page of Cups. All right, so yeah, <laughs> um, a message of love is definitely coming in once again. You have lots of cups, my dear, here. So um, uh, <laughs> it's a message of love and it's coming in fast. Um, one more fast message here. And, uh, <laughs> and it's bringing you back to those beautiful dolphins we saw because now here we have six of cups. Those dolphins were playing and just enjoying the swim and uh, and being young and playful. And um, so that message is about that. It's about that young love. You're going to feel that young love once again here. And then clarifying peaks of joy. Yeah, she's almost jumping like the dolphin here. Whew, wow, okay, so... Uh, <laughs> all right, so let's see what else the future will bring here for you. Um, fascinating. Okay, so you're going to have to make a choice. Because this is two of pentacles and you're going to say, um, I'm hearing who should I choose here? Um, the one and the other and um, what does it, balancing act. Yeah, so you, you don't know exactly, <laughs> exactly if you, what to choose here. Uh, left, right, uh, one feels okay, one feels okay too, and one feels good and warm, one feels uh, exciting and young and youthful, but can I trust it? And so those are the words spirits say here. 
Um, so, but you are going to have to take a choice because you are in illumination in this card. Something is going to be illuminated for you so you can know what to choose here. All right. And what to choose. King of Pentacles. Okay. Hmm. All right. So I'm going to have to clarify with the next one. Ten of Pentacles. Okay. And I'm clarifying even more. Making a choice. Okay, so that's what I was feeling here. Uh, this King of Pentacles is the provider in your life. This is someone who can, who is um, making, can make you feel uh, safe. Um, he's dependable. He is a um, hard worker. He is um, all about family, all about... Uh, your safety, your protection, and he's um, uh, financially giving you uh, a lot here, uh, some sort of safety, because we have the Ten of Pentacles, so that is the happy and well-provided family life here. And I'm hearing this is what this person can bring you or will bring you. So, and... Uh, Okay, and uh, but you still want having to make a choice here. So I, I'm going to have to see what the last pile of cards here will say uh, because of that choice. Yes, here we have the King of Cups. All right, so here we have all of the cup guys aligned into the King here. All right. Okay, so I'm hearing um, like that person you've been waiting for is the King of Cups because you are actually the Queen of Cups, my dear, down here, right? I'm going to find her and put her straight next to here. Look at that beautiful, beautiful couple. And I'm not sure that this King of Cups was ever a page of cups in his now personality, but the way he slowly stepped into his, your life was uh, <laughs> using <laughs> the tools from his earlier self, his younger self. All right. So, um, and that's why he could use the Knight of Cups to come in and give you a surprise message and use the cup, uh, the, the page of cups as well to, to hand you a beautiful message. So, but here he is, uh, all in one and grown up the King of Cups. All right. So what I'm seeing right now is we have the King of Pentacles next to the King of Cups and Spirit's wanting me to put this in between making a choice. So you have to make a choice right here between <laughs> which man can provide for you financially and just with his actions during your life together uh, a stable one a stable really mm, grounded person who can do everything you want and you can have everything you want in your life or the person that can come in and make your heart sing spirit say Make your heart sing again, Spirit say. Let's clarify the two of ones. So you're gonna you're still making a choice here. You're like, ah, huh, uh, all right, uh, 
um, I have all these beautiful choices. Um, what should I choose? Uh, so you're sort of sending that bird out to return with the answer here. <laughs> okay. And uh, here we have the magician. Okie dokie. Here we go. Do you remember the first card, Wheel of Creation, here? Where, where I talked about the magician. So I'm seeing that you will drag on your own in internal magician. And, or, no, or, perhaps your King of Cups also represents the magician here. And uh, that make that make you both aligned here. Do you understand what I mean? Um, so he has a lot of beautiful tools in his uh, toolbox to drag you in here. All right. And or he can be a creative person, a musician, a, an artist, um, someone who is good with his hands, good with his um, um, just creations, good with creating things and, um, and a confident one. All right. So and he. And the King of Cups, because we're clarifying the King of Cups here, will bring you this Ace of Wands. Such a passionate stick. A very beautiful, beautiful feeling of passion and and just uh, waking up inside completely. Fire inside. Alive again. Life. Life. Spirit. Uh, attunement. Uh, the feeling of enlightenment here. And the star comes with the King of Cups here. Your wish is coming true right here with this man. So um, we're getting pretty close to which choice to make here, right? Which choice to make? <laughs> All right, so, and three clarifying oracle cards that is the last three we have here. Magic stream. Yeah, and that clarifies uh, the magician I'm, I'm hearing. It's, uh, and, and that energy of the magician and um, <laughs> a flow, just flow. And whatever magic you might have sent out uh, high priestess <laughs> uh, it's coming back to you it's returning back to you um, I'm sort of seeing a kettle put put uh, a, a set over to boil and it's sort of coming out of it this uh, prayer that you put into the kettle is sort of coming out here and it's flowing it's flowing and uh, rescue so, and this, is this the person that is rescued? This is the person that you uh, dreamed about here. You were hoping for a person to rescue you here. Do you remember? Someone coming into your life and just rescuing you so you wouldn't be alone. All right. So this is what is going to happen here. And... Uh, Hmm. And it can feel like a tower moment, but a positive one, okay? Um, and I think the first po uh, tower moment was a positive one just as well, even though it felt really bad, <laughs> okay? And the last card for you, home. Oh, so you will find your way home. And um, in love with your King of Cups and in life, wherever you go, after this, you will find your way home. All right. 
Wow, beautiful and in very intense reading for you. Very, very intense, beautiful reading. So, uh, I'm so happy for you and still um, I pray that you will... Um, I pray for balance and peace and um, while you while you go through this journey here, all right? Um, remember who you are inside. Remember you are both here, uh, Miss Temperance and um, the Empress and <laughs> the Queen of Cups and the High Priestess. And strength, you have strength. Remember all that, okay? It's gonna be okay. Spirits say it's gonna be even more than okay. It's gonna be the journey you've been waiting for and the journey that you deserve. And while I'm saying that, um, um, Spirit is walking straight through me. Okay, so I'm hearing uh, an, an ancestor, um, someone watching over you um, on the other side. Perhaps a family member, grandmother, or something like that. So um, an aunt, grandfather, whatever uh, is closest to you, and you will know that. And know that they are right there beside you. And taking care of you and handing you every next little piece of the puzzle that you need okay so um, I wish you good luck you're gonna do this all right so that was pile number three so here we are moving on to pile number four the last pile here with the little <laughs> penis shaped um, crystal here um, yeah <laughs> spirit wanted me to share with you that they want to speak to divine masculine in this um, uh, reading here um, <laughs> and uh, I know it's small, but <laughs> I don't mean to emasculate anyone, but it's really strong <laughs> in, in the energy. So um, anyway, uh, it's all about the divine masculine in the spread and their uh, feelings and emotions, spirits say. So let's get moving um, and seeing a little bit more about that. All right. I'm going to have to um, make a Vimeo account uh, for you guys so we can talk about what's really going on and go into details when we have to um, go deeper uh, with the feelings, with the physical feelings of um, these divine masculines, divine feminines, because I'm not really allowed here on Facebook. But more on that, I have something brewing on that all right let's move on um so here i have laid out a spread it's a celtic cross it's a variant of the celtic cross all right so and uh to uh, say a little bit something about you i have a card the first card here is from native healing native heart healing oracle and um these cards are so beautiful so viewer you have this card, Sun God. Wow, Ra, I'm hearing straight away. All right, so um, Ra is a masculine energy. The sun is a masculine energy and the moon is feminine. So we are getting straight into this masculinity and um, and there is such power in this card here such beautiful and spirituality as well um, 
force and um, and strength. Those are the words I'm hearing. Um, uh, uh, someone who does things, get things done, and um, helping everybody, making things work for everybody, warm-hearted, mm, friendly, respectful, responsible. Those words are coming in about you who are viewing this. All right. So, um, and in the Celtic cross, we also, of course, have the middle card that represents you and your situation right now. All right. So let's get moving here with Tarot Illuminati. All right. <laughs> we have the hanged man straight up here. Okay, hmm. Hmm. so I'm, I'm getting, uh, I'm getting your situation right now is making you um, having a hard time making a choice. You, you don't really know what to do, uh, which uh, leg to stand on <laughs> and um, Let's clarify with um, the energy oracle cards. Sorry, I can't remember all of my cards name while I'm doing this. So here we have the broken heart. All right, so an ending has been taking place and that's why you don't know what exactly what to do. So, um, this is going on inside of your heart right now, Mr. Sunny. <sighs> so, um, that's hard. The next card is strength. Yeah, uh, exactly. Here we have the sun coming out again. You know, it's like um, that force, that power that lives inside you you're pulling on that right now you're having been forced to pull on that strength right now um, or perhaps you can be uh, the, the, the sign Leo perhaps you are Leo um, Clarifying this card, walking away. All right, so um, we're getting straight into this. There, there is a breakup here. All right, so um, yeah, so you've decided to walk away, but you're still looking back. So you want to be able to walk away, but you're still looking back, and um, you're not sure or. Just a minute. I'm just going to take a good look at this. Um, yeah. Am I going to stay? Should I stay or should I go? Um, the strength card will protect you here. And perhaps also tell you to um, do what your heart tells you. Um, you're strong enough. We'll see. Let's go straight into the positive aspects of these cards here, your situation. So the positive card is the Emperor. All right, so let's go back to the sun and the strength here. This is you. You are a um, pretty strong guy and pretty knowing guy. You have been around. You have learned a lot. You've tried a lot, many things, and um, now you're standing strong in, within yourself here. You know who you are. And um, clarifying this emperor door to personal healing and happiness. Yeah, all right. So there is 
a door that is open here. You can walk straight through. And, um, <clears throat> and I'm hearing you might be strong enough to do that. You might be strong enough to do that. All right. Yeah. Seven, three plus four, seven is always uh, number seven is referring to a chariot for me. I'm hearing the word the chariot. So um, I wouldn't be surprised if you very soon <laughs> is galloping out of this gate here into your personal healing and happiness or what seems to you to be that all right um so let's see about the negative um additions to um this situation you are in right now so negative additions judgment hmm Yeah, hmm. I'm hearing you're going through a rebirth and that feels like really, really hard. It's, it's really hard, you know, um, it's not just you, it's about it's all those people around you that you want to care for and you care for. And, um, uh, and going through the portal, it just like so scary. It's so scary. It can feel like, can I do this? Do I want to do this? It's like I'm freaking me out. I'm not sure if I should. Um, and um, but a judgment has been cold. It's like you've been served for justice as well. So I'm hearing all those words. And the next card here, two of pentacles. It's all about you having to make a change here. Um, am I, am, are my ships going out or are they coming in? It's like... Um, so... Um, what should I choose? What should I choose? What should I choose? So clarifying these two cards here. Happy family. Is that a choice between, let me see, caring connections? All right. Okay, so Spirit's telling me to hold this in the middle of these two cards because you're actually being made to choose here. Hmm. My God, this... Uh, spreads are all about making choices and transform transformations and so um, are you making a choice between a happy family life and a new caring connection coming into your life someone you're falling in love with or fell in love with is that what this is about you know you know better than I. <laughs> Ooh. All right. And the cards fell down. So hmm. spirit said that means yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. <clears throat> hmm. All right. So we're go jumping straight into this uh, once again with this uh, card spread here. Uh, making choice between two here. Um, all right, so um, let's uh, move into the root of you. What is your base here? Um, and King of Cups. That's you, okay? Spirits say that's, that's him. <laughs> that's you. And um, the next card is... Nine of Wands. Hmm. All right, so you are. Hmm. I, 
I'm, I'm hearing you're protecting yourself here. You're protecting uh, what you want, what you what you feel that you should do, and um, it's like don't don't try and change my mind here. Um, clarifying King of Cups journey. Okay, I'm going out on this journey, and. Hmm. Uh, I'm I'm making a choice which way I want to go, but I am making the choice. I am making the choice. Oh, don't tell me what to do. Wow, they are so alive, these cards. Because I am the sun. I know what to do. I am Ra. Okay? Uh, <laughs> so... Thank God you have that strength with you, and um, and I'm I'm feeling that you you want romance in your life. You want to impersonate this King of Cups. Uh, you want more romance. Um, okay, so that's what I'm getting for this pile here. Let's see uh, about your crown here. Um, your um, opportunity what is the trend here what are your opportunities here ace of cups all right so <clears throat> okay so I'm, I'm seeing spirit actually gifting you this through your crown chakra here <clears throat> and um so you've been giving a, a, a cup of love here, a opportunity of a great new beginning in love here. <clears throat> so wow, and uh, <laughs> and that has brought you to become the thinking man because you're gonna have to think about it once again what to do here um, about your choices. And then again, you've been given a, a, a beautiful gift here. Do you see that? That is a, a beautiful diamond. And you are trying to look into that diamond and, 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 and saying, okay, I'm, <clears throat> I've been giving this beautiful diamond. <clears throat> I've never tried that before. Can I trust it? Second chakra, Archangel Ariel here. <clears throat> All right, can I trust it? Because I, I, I am feeling so much passion. I'm feeling, feeling it down under. I'm feeling it right here in the forbidden area. I'm so passionate about this. Is it only a sexual offer? Is it? Is, is that what it is? Or is it more than that? So you're thinking about, but yeah, but it lit a fire inside of you like you never felt it before. All right. That's what spirits say. And there is a cup of love here that is telling us that there are emotions behind this. So love and passion at the same time, it's not bad, right? That's what we all are looking for, right? So, um, but you're still thinking about it. Um, let's see what went on in your past here, all right? Um, so let's see what this is all about. Queen of Pentacles. All right, that there is, here we have one woman. Which one is it? The happy family or the caring connection here of spirit? Caring. No, sorry, happy. Happy family. I, I'm feeling, let's see the next card spirit say. Death. All right. 
So um, this Queen of Pentacles is definitely not going to happen. I'm, I'm hearing a change is absolutely coming here. Um, and uh, clarifying this, please. Um, yeah, all right. So this one is the happy family life because this is your root chakra. This is your family. This is your st the steady life, your security, your comfort down here. And um, so, yeah, so I'm hearing this Queen of Pentacles. You are really uh, considering if you should, you know, cut her off. Um, but, you know, she represents something really safe and comfortable and secure here. And she represents your life, your life, I'm hearing. And I'm always going to cry when I'm talking about this. But so it's a really, it's your life. Of course, you are thinking about this. All right. Should, what should I choose here? And um, the high priestess. That's that's the one you're caring about here. <sighs> All right. So, um, of course, you are uh, attracted to this person over here because this high priestess, she is one in a tri-million, what do you call it? One in a billion. She is extremely... Um, she has an attracting way of being that is out of this world. She is, um, you can't, uh, you can't find her anywhere else. She is just beauty in so many ways. She's beautiful in a physical way and in um, a heartful way and in a spiritual way. And she has straight connections to the universe and and she can look straight into you and know who you are. And you f think that this is just so attracting. So attracting. You don't have... <laughs> you, you, you can't do anything with her. But you have the Six of Swords here. And... Um, all right, so what I'm hearing here is um, is you just want to put her in a boat or a car or something, a plane, and transport her out of here. Go away with her. And, um, and uh, but, you know, you see that it's not doable. It's it's not really an easy task um, because perhaps there is something in her life that makes it a little hard for you, but this is what you want to do with her. You're definitely not wanting her to die like the other person. Um, not that you're wishing death on anybody, but... Uh, you, you, I mean, when you, when you're thinking about death, is ending it, all right? And we have clarifying these two cards here. Uh, the angel of love. Who, spirit, you give me these crazy stories, but you know, you guys, those who are watching my video, this is your this is your life. These are your stories, and I can't believe how you can uh, give me this beautiful, beautiful uh, love through life here. So uh, this uh, high priestess is the angel of love to you. She really is. 
and that's why you want to go away with her you want to grab her and just leave everything behind okay and sorry I'm trying to get these cards straight and the wheel here we have the wheel so um, and this is what happened in the past okay uh, you wanted to just grab her and move because you f you felt um, the wheel of fortune taking a turn here into another fate into another destiny uh, turning the the cycles of life here into a new cycle all right and now you you're gonna have to make a strategy uh, <sighs> You have, you're going to have to th sit down, think about it and um, figure out how I'm going to do this, how I'm going to proceed from here on. Okay. Whew, wow. Um, let's hear about the near future here. Your near future. So five of wands. All right, so something is sort of stopping you and making you, you're going to have to compete in some way. Um, so I don't know um, what you're going to compete about. Is it something in your past or is it something in your present? Um what are you going to compete about, Spirit? King of Pentacles. Ah. So you're going to compete with another man. That's what I'm hearing Spirit say here. Because the woman that Holds your heart has another man. Is that true? Does it resonate with you? Um, this is what I'm I'm sort of seeing. Also, look at him. He's the, the king of pentacles. He could be her provider. He could be her provider. Um Perhaps she's in the exact same situation as you are. Are we dealing with a four-party relationship here? Two of swords. <clears throat> I'm going to have to clarify this two of swords. Woman holding a coin. There is a choice that has to be made up in someone's mind here. Is it a wo the woman? Is it... I don't know. I don't see this woman is her. I'm, wait. Aha! Woman holding a heart. Okay, so let's talk about this. Um... Okay, so you being uh, you being set out to compete with this woman's man, and you yourself is going to have to make a choice here between. I'm going to have to say your wife or something, some a woman that you live together with that you are in a stable relationship, a long-term relationship, um, the one that you are the, providing her life. She's holding a coin here and it's up. It's because of you in some way. Um, not that she's not able to make her own money, but um, I'm, I'm seeing this is... Um, this 
when you hold the coin, you hold the mm, the safety, the security, the income, the um, the stability, um, which all um, is around uh, um, a normal family life or a, a long term relationship. And uh, and here we have the woman holding the heart. And um, I think she's holding your heart because you offered her something. And you're going to have to choose. And you're all stuck in your mind about what to do. Because this woman holding a heart, she has a provider as well. Or she has a stable life also. Perhaps she has a family. She has a husband or a long-term relationship. Oh my God, this is getting confusing, but this is what Spirit's telling me about these cards here. And uh, anxiety. Um, one plus eight is a nine. So something is ending, a situation is ending, but it makes you anxious. It makes you so anxious. Because you don't know what to do, what to choose, um, what to say goodbye to here. And um, and it's because you can't you can't see the truth. You don't have you don't have uh, more than an imagination of the truth here, and uh, a hope for what can happen in the truth. In the sorry, not the truth, future. Um, you're not sure what can happen in this future. You're still, even though we are in the future, you're not sure what to do, all right? Because of fear. Something makes you afraid here. And um, so let's take a look at the card we have down here. It's called card number eight. And that's the summary of all of these cards we just read and also um, your inner strength and your subconscious here. So inner strength and um, well, <laughs> you, you couldn't see, sorry, I had to sit down for two seconds. My back is sort of killing me a little bit. <laughs> anyway, enough about me. Here we go, three of pentacles. You're tired of everybody else telling you what to do. You know exactly uh, how to get in touch with yourself. Your own intuition is great. And um, and <laughs> what you're wanting here is um, a, a beautiful, loving relationship. And I'm, I'm hearing you have sort of decided over here. And... Um, and every some as a everybody else is saying or what no your expectations to yourself uh, your expectations to a man having a family life uh, is um, is what you're sort of struggling with is your own expectations but others expectations just as well and you're like saying let me go to my heart and let me let me figure out what to do here because this is my wish i want a relationship this two of cups is a relationship very loving relationship between two people that are aligned with each other all right so clarifying here Seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. Yeah, and that is clarifying, I think, this first card saying, my intuition is clear, I know what to do. I, I, I know I can trust my own intuition here. So don't tell me what to do. Okay, and um, the next card is the garden and the gate. Yeah, and that's what you're, th what you're contemplating here. You're contemplating because you're still within the gates here. Hmm. 
but you are able to actually uh, open the doors and just walk out and um and you're strong enough to do that i'm hearing because you want to walk out because this two of cups is outside of the gate this relationship lies outside of the gate and but uh, is that your dream <laughs> healer of the ages that's love and in such a, a powerful way such a powerful way and um, I'm hearing that that this is a you this is sort of who you are in your personality you are such a beautiful, loving, giving person, and um, <clears throat> and you can heal people with your bare hands. You're you're like a warm-hearted uh, but warm-handed person. You are. Um, really really a beautiful person that connects with spirit and with humans and sees inside of each of them um, coming into uh, feeling the sun here in yourself so the sun is coming out of you through this relationship that is what you're feeling right now. And the last clarifying card is Angel of Strength. Wow. <sighs> My God. I'm, I'm seeing these two as a couple because we have number 50 and 51. They're <laughs> just next to each other. And the Angel of Strength, that's your Divine Feminine. And if you are strength, if you are the Leo or the strong person, the strong guy, um, she's able to control you. She's able to uh, make you lay down uh, in front of her feet and completely surrender. All right. So, wow. And uh, so I'm hearing this is this is what these three cards here. This is what you think you can find on the other side of this gate here. All right. Wow. So this is your subconscious and um, you're starting to believe it. All right, let's see here. The next pile here is about your hopes and fears. Okay, so, um, well, the first card here is Ace of Wands. And um, <laughs> I'm, I'm hearing this is your hope. This is... <laughs> but it could also be a fear. <laughs> it, could, it could also be, uh, am I coming on too strong? Uh, please tell me if I'm coming on too strong. But again, I'm wanting this new powerful life, this new beautiful, uh, fiery, passionate relationship or just being able to feel the fire inside with, within myself here okay so the next card next to it is eight of cups hmm yeah but but you know but but i'm not sure um hmm. can i do this it it seems a uh, a uh, little too hard i'm i'm just not sure about it um uh I'm going to have to take a look at 
hmm, whatever darkness comes my way here and um, hmm, undecisive, that's what I'm hearing. Next card, the devil. <laughs> and your biggest fear is you, you don't want to be portrayed as the devil or or s someone thinking that you are the devil or uh, becoming a devil in someone's eyes here, in any of those divine feminine's eyes. Y you don't want to be that devil. Uh, and you feel like perhaps you're going to have to in in one way uh do something like what the devil would have done to someone even though that's not your intention here it's not your intention justice so hopes and fears here uh that's a hope your hope is that it will all come to to some sort of uh, justice, um, a, a sense of balance again, it could be uh, perhaps um, a divorce, it could be, um, but I'm hearing that you're, you're hoping that everyone will feel like they were heard, they were listened to, they were, um, they were justified through this situation. All right. Clarifying these cards here. Contract. Yeah. So um, here comes the divorce once again into my mm, tongue and uh, finding that balance. This is what you're hoping for, but you're also sort of fearing it. All right. And the world, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm hearing uh, in this uh, card, the world seems a little grum <laughs> right now. Um, so uh, whichever way you look, it's like, I don't know if this will ever happen or and I'm gonna I'm gonna have to uh, really uh, uh, hurt you, hurt someone. I don't want to do that. And um, and then again, the world is um, something new coming, something new, something a shift, a transformation here, and um, action. All right. Well, <laughs> there are two things here. It's like uh, divine masculine chasing divine feminine, hoping she will just run with him. And, uh, and then the fear is, I'm afraid to take action too fast because I feel the fire inside here and I'm I feel like I'm just going to come in and uh, I don't want to scare you I don't want to scare you and then here fourth chakra archangel Raphael love so um so he's hoping that this divine feminine she will actually respond to his actions with love understand that all he is feeling and wanting with her is to show how much he loves her all right so you fell in love <clears throat> all right a little stretch <laughs> good next card is about the environment surrounding you and how um, they view your role 
others view your, your role here. And the first card is Eight of Swords. All right. Hmm. Okay. Spirit wants me to take the next one. And the next one, sorry. Um, and the next one, sorry. So I can have a better view here. Can you even see? We have Eight of Swords, Seven of Cups, Queen of Wands, and Ten of Wands here. All right. All right. So what people are actually seeing is that you have... Um, uh, not moved for a while. You have been uh, imprisoning yourself or been imprisoned where you were, where you are in this relationship number one, I'm hearing spirits say. And, uh, and yeah, and, and or, uh, <sighs> You don't know what what you're doing. You don't know what the heck you're doing here. All right. Um, so uh, when they see this situation you are in with these two people here, and uh, and some of them think that it's just an illusion and it's all about sex. It's all about um, desires, fantasies in your head in your mind and uh, you don't know exactly what you're doing you shouldn't do this uh, it's not real what you have uh, at home or whatever is real and then we have this queen of wands coming in and uh, <laughs> I'm actually um, I'm hearing this could be the person that you're attracted to, the person that that provides you with these fantasies that you're having here. And uh, your uh, woman, the one you fell in love with, because this queen of wands is such a beautiful spiritual person. She's an angel. She's a, a high priestess. But she's also uh, extremely tempting. She's um, tempterous. She's um, very hot, very uh, <laughs> um, attracting in a sexual way. So, um, and hmm, perhaps people know her. Perhaps people don't like her. I don't know. Perhaps people say... Uh, it's going to be a way too hard, this this process, this journey. Uh, with the, It's going to feel like a ten of wands. You know, you can't trust her. Uh, go back to what you can trust. Um, it looks too hard. It just looks from the outside that whatever you have done to yourself here, it's just too hard. Stop it. Go back. Uh um lay down your wands and uh forget about it that's what spirits say that's what i'm hearing and um I'm, i have some uh, clarifying cards here as well attachment all right and um hmm so some of pe the people around you know that Someone in your first relationship, spirits say, has an attachment towards you. Um, or you have an attachment towards them. It could be uh, you're a father and they are attached to you because of that. Your husband, a provider, that's why they are attached to you because of that. Or the other person could be a mother. And that's why, of course, you're attached to her in some way. And... Um, and that's what people see. Then again, <sighs> all right.
right. So I'm hearing people also see that you sort of have been withdrawing from your home life and uh, beginning to take up um, in other interests, in other communities, with other sorts of people. And, uh, and you sort of perhaps hiding a little bit there. And um, perhaps in 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 this woman's type of community, it could be. But people are seeing that you're perhaps not home very much anymore, or you're withdrawing into another type of community than those people that are now judging you, those people we're talking about now. Um, and this community has nothing to do with whomever is uh, in your home base. Um, all right, let's get moving to um, the future cards here. And we're going to get slowly moving into the future um, further on because we have a little future here, you know, but we're going to see how do you grow into the future and what will happen there. All right. So let's see here. First card is Prince of Wands. All right. So... <laughs> You're going to use that fiery uh, Ace of Wands stick here and and come in fast. <laughs> You're going to come in fast uh, to, towards something. I don't know. Let's see. King of Wands. To show someone that, look at me, I am the King of Wands here. <laughs> and uh, of course you are because you're the sun god all right so um this woman here the queen of wands you're gonna come in and tell her uh look you and i we should be together we should we should all right look at them here Still thinking about it, both of them. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's clarify those two cards here. Rest and rejuvenate. Okay, so... Uh, All right, not so fast. Not so fast, Prince of Wands. Take it easy, take it easy. I know it's so hard for you to take it easy because, you know, you're a fireball. Um, but, you know, spirit is advising you to rest and rejuvenate and uh, think about it. Just, no, I'm not think about it, but let things heal, let things evolve and uh, have respect for other people's journeys here. All right. The next card, the thinking woman. And what is she thinking about? She's thinking about this offer she just had here okay and she's thinking about this king of wands could he be my soul partner M the person that that's just like me the emperor to my high priestess energy the king to my Queen of Wands energy. She's thinking. Let her think. That's why you have to rest and rejuvenate. All right. Next card is indecision. So if someone is having uh, trouble deciding. It could be you. It could be that woman. Um, not sure. Third chakra. Archangel Jamuel. All right, so um, <laughs> uh, this is your solar plexus. 
So I'm seeing the sun right there in your solar plexus and it's bright and it's out there and you're going for it. And uh, it's a new beginning because it's a three plus a seven. That's ten. And that means a one. And um, you know what you want, I'm hearing here. But you have to be patient. You have to be patient. Perhaps there is a tower situation that has to happen on the other side. It could be in your own life or in your person's life, your new person's life. Because this is a 16, this is a tower in traditional tarot, so that's why I see that. Uh, divine timing, respect the energy and the rule of divine, the universal law of divine timing. All right? So um, let's move on here. Lots of cards. Queen of Swords. What's with all those queens here? Okay, so this, this is the Queen of Pentacles, but the Queen of Swords is impersonating the Queen of Pentacles right now. That's what I'm hearing spirits say. Um, and that means she is uh, mm, giving you a hard time in, in, in some ways. She's, uh, has, she has sharpened her tongue. Uh, spirits say I couldn't hardly get that word out of my tongue. So, um, yeah, she's sharpened her tongue. And she's uh, giving you um, a lot of thoughts, a lot of uh, things to think about, uh, decisions to think about. And um, I'm hearing she's a good speaker. She has um, her word. Um, um, she has a strong sense of how to use her words here. And uh, she's good at trying to uh, convince you about what to do. Okay, um, clarifying this fifth chakra, <laughs> Archangel Gabriel, and that's the throat chakra right there. Can you see the blue one? And, uh, <laughs> and so, yeah, and this is you. You're going to have to open up your mouth and speak with her. Talk to her, tell her about your feelings and whatever happened, you have to disclosure the truth to her and um, uh, answer him, answer back because she's going to ask you, she's going to ask you, she's going to tell you and you have to answer her back. Uh, try to do it. Uh, in um, a loving way. Mr. Archangel Gabriel just said. <laughs> All right. And um, the next card clarifying this Queen of Swords is the Nine of Pentacles. And here she's holding up her, her treasures. And... Um, She's convincing. She seems convincing here in whatever she shows you. All right. Clarifying this deceit. All right. So she has a strong, uh, <laughs> she has a strong argument because you deceited her, she's saying. And, um, and here I stand in all, all this uh, hmm, pomp. Uh, are you really going to disrespect me? Are you really going to do that to me? Um, clarifying again. Um, envy. Yeah, so the root of <laughs> her standing there tall and trying to look like she's uh, all that is she's 
she's en envious, she's jealous that you didn't come to her, that you didn't showed her the love that you own in your heart, in your solar plexus. She wanted to see that sun. She wanted to have a part of that sun. Um. <clears throat> Next card clarifying this Queen of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. That is that is another good argument here. We have a happy family. We have all that we need here. Our kids are, if you have kids, um, happy and healthy. And um, door to value. We have, uh, we have, you know, we have a lot of, value within this happy family here or this whatever it was um, stable connection we have so much to be grateful for still clarifying her she she she's wanting it's like you can have the Ace of Pentacles. You can have, you know, a new beginning uh, and uh, feel safe uh, financially and uh, just uh, in life. You can have cornucopia, all right? You can have all this. Um, you can have all these beautiful foods and you, you will always be full. You will never need anything. Um, it can't be more stable than that, all right? Another one clarifying, man holding a coin. All right. So that's what you are, divine masculine. You are going to be the man holding the coin. Or you are in this relationship, the man holding the coin. And uh, do you want to be that man? And if you go ahead with being that man, what will happen? Because here we have hostilities. And um, will it, will, okay, will it all be all right in the end if you come back and hold that coin? Step back and stop with the guard at the at, at the at the gate to the garden and stay in not go out into the garden. And I'm hearing you will meet has a hostile environment nevertheless here. Because your woman is disappointed, she's been deceited, and she's uh, she's gonna act more like the the queen of of swords than the queen of coins. All right. Um, appreciation. All right, so the energy is going down with the appreciate. You want to just be appreciated. That's what spirits say. Is that what you want? Do you want to be the provider and have a hostile environment and instead of being completely loved and, and uh, bewildered about, do you want to just be appreciated? Like... Um, Storm warning. All right. Okay. So what I'm hearing here is even though if you try, you will end up in the same tower moment with this person, this steady home person. Um, 
and the home will not be steady anymore it will be like a storm it will be something is going to end here because i'm hearing uh it's uh it's not anything you can do anything about here so um you want to take that turn do you want to live like this or do you want to get out um respectfully it will take you a while because you are a, a person that cares for other people and respects other people and uh, and you want them to also have their journey and have have a chance to f to have their emotional journey as well you know so um All right, you guys, so the last pile is a thick one. Um, let's see. Uh, so the first pile, the first card is, you're not kidding me. You're not kidding me. This is turning up to be like pile number three. These two piles up here for the future is all about the provider and the one that loves you and yeah pile number three was more for the divine feminine but this is for the divine masculine and you're actually almost going through the same thing here so the queen of cups is a certainly another type of queen than the queen of swords here and um, i'm hearing this is your um <laughs> Uh, this is your love this is the woman that you fell in love with here it's not a different one from this woman here she is she is actually able to be both the queen of wands and the queen of cups uh, all in one <laughs> uh, because she is the high priest is just the same and she is um She's uh, a very um, multicolored woman. She has a lot of different talents within here. All right. And, uh, but, you know, she is, uh, she's going to love you. She's going to love you. angel of balance here we have the high priestess coming in once again uh, she will um, bring you the balance that you're seeking spirits say um, ten of cups <laughs> and uh, this energy will bring you a youthful uh, sense of first love yeah. and uh, this is what you've been looking for this is what you've been wanting um, young people falling in love here and uh, the next card is the alchemist so okay so this is this is so like uh, pile number three this one all right so the alchemist is uh you're using every tool you have in your bag here you're using um <laughs> you you're coming in uh on that horse and uh you're showing her whatever is in your box here all right to um make her mm, feel attracted towards you and um all right, <laughs> but you're all tied up. Just a minute, my son is outside the window looking in. I'm just going to say hi. I'm coming in two seconds. Sorry. 
All right, so <laughs> even though you have all those tools in your bag <laughs> and I'm, I'm hearing beautiful, loving words and uh, um, creative um, little adventures and uh, uh, romance, romantic outings, stuff like that. Um, someone here is all tied up. It could be her could be you um, not being able to um, join in or do any of these things here so four of cups um, all right yeah so so someone is not acknowledging this huge cup of love that's been brought in from God from destiny here it's like um, I am not ready to acknowledge it yet this is what spirits say and uh, so we have a four of swords uh, situation someone I don't know if it's you or her it could be her that's needing to have a moment here to heal herself yourself um, to come back a pause um, oh my god uh, but then something's happening wow <laughs> oh, okay so this pause has made has made you it's about you divine masculine has made you completely uh uh impulsive completely like i i, I can't wait anymore i can hardly wait anymore i'm i'm just so um i'm gonna oh, i just need to do something i need to do something and you've been waiting and waiting and waiting and the first moment that you have a little sense of all right there's an opening i'm coming in i'm coming in and that's you i see coming in very very fast here and uh wow it wasn't it wasn't time oh my god i can't wait to see how this ends because now it's really exciting uh um you know, you came in too fast, too soon. It was too soon. So, uh, and uh, you got rejected here. You really did. You got rejected. Oh. Financial constraints. All right. So this could be the reason for some of it. It could be your own financial constraints or this divine feminine's financial constraint. It could be something she's dealing with in her life um, that she has to sort of perhaps stay where she is or um, figure out, figure herself out here. Um, let's see the chariot uh, all right so you're gonna come in once again here mr sun god you can't control yourself with all the energy the fiery energy you have inside so um i wonder if this look you had like you came in as the the Knight of what once and then again you you're coming in <laughs> uh, with the with the eight of ones and the chariot now you you have you uh, let's hope that the third time is a charm all right <laughs> my god you are really really hardcore victory woohoo wow ow, my hand i i Ah, oh, my God, you're just, wow, 
finally something is happening here um, <laughs> so what's happening you're coming in you're coming in and you are victorious we have now five more cards in the entire reading let's see what's wow 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 my god i can't believe this in the other side here you were the man holding a coin and now in this side you are the man holding a heart where is the man holding a coin i want to mm, bring it up just a minute uh, here look at that so do you see now the difference between who you are impersonating with one person compared to the other here you're the provider and here you are the lover you are the person that understands a woman's heart here here you are the person that understands a woman's needs all right so and um i feel like you want to be this guy you want to hold that heart uh, because i feel like you're such a rom romantic guy for a once so you're gonna you're gonna bring her this heart and perhaps you, you're gonna ask her to marry you for once here that's uh, an engagement wow Whew. this story is just making me sort of sweat now what's it ending oh my god ten of cups here so you can have this beautiful family life but with love inside with lots of love 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 flowing love beautiful love for everybody for the adults for the children for everybody in within that one um oh happy endings we have in these readings door to spirit yeah because the king of wands and the queen of wands they are directly connected to spirit and um so i'm hearing you're gonna have such a beautiful uh, romance a spiritual romance some call it a tantric romance <laughs> but uh, uh it includes your higher selves each of you all right this is just the highest frequency you can get here wow please i want to see the last card here door to romance yes 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 so um this is the door that's opening up for you for the rest of your life i'm hearing spirits say so my god you have been busy you've been busy tr trying to keep everybody um happy and uh <laughs> and uh being rejected and uh saying i'm sorry but no and all of these emotions you've been going through in this reading my god it's been like crazy uh and I don't know if this uh the provider contra the the door and the, the man with the heart door door no sorry not door I, I was just with the door to romance man holding a coin man holding a heart this is is that a theme is that a theme in this day and age or in this uh, um reading here um these readings here because they are coming back they're coming in again and again is it the old paradigm that i want to stay stuck in 
Or am I going to follow my heart and do what I want? Put down um, the burdens of being perfect, of running around with a mask on in my life. Or do I want to set myself free? Because there certainly is a possibility to do that in this reading. All right. Someone else is wanting to do the same as you. Let them go through their own process of saying goodbye to that old paradigm they perhaps are in themselves. All right. All of us are saying goodbye to the new old paradigm. Sorry, not new. The old paradigm. We're going to have to find the strength within. But in this reading, both of you really own it. You really own it deep within your souls. And um, now it's time to let your higher selves come forth and enter this practical, living, earthly life. So however spiritual you are, now is time to be a human being with that spirit raying out from you. All right. Wow, you guys, thank you so much for letting me look into your story. It's just so beautiful. Um, Well, this was card pile number four, and um, I don't even know what to say in the end here. I want to say to those of you who have donated money to my account, thank you so much. You don't know how much I need it right now. Uh, so um, even <laughs> if you can't, help me that way um i'm so happy that you're sending me your beautiful comments and uh, beautiful emails uh, all the time um, those of you who want extra healing send me your story um, in a therapeutic email uh, and i'll put it into the file the healing pot of love um, here in my uh, mailbox and uh, then spirit will take care of you start a healing process for you all right because so many of you need healing, need to um, step back and just mm, let yourself heal from, from time to time, all right? Because the energy is crazy, all right? So um, you're not crazy, you're not doing anything wrong, but uh, the time is work, 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 and step into the life that you want transform your life all right so um that's all i had to say to you um i love you guys so much thank you thank you and thank you um 